Buffy Williams, and thank you for allowing me to be a part of your wellness and meditation journey. I'm a therapist and a yoga instructor, so today I'm going to give you a couple of tips that you can use during COVID-19. First, I want you to find a box in your home, and it could be any box. Um, I have some examples here for you. I have a shoe box, an old shoe box. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a comfort box. And what goes in a comfort box is anything that comforts you when you're not feeling um, your best. We'll say that. And so here's another box. And this is like an old perfume box. So moms, if you have any boxes um, that you're not using, uh, you can use it for you, moms or dads. And for the kids, if you have any old shoe boxes that you are not using, you can use an old shoe box. So these are mine. And I also have another box. I have a box that I picked up just at the dollar store. I think it was on clearance for maybe $2. So I still had it. So I'm using it as my example. So what you're going to do is with your comfort box, you want things that tap into your five senses. And so we're going to do sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. So for those days that you're not feeling yourself, what you're going to do is you're going to make a comfort box for those days. You might not use it for every day. So in my comfort box, I have for sight, you could use anything you want. I use a photo of my children. So these are my kids, and so for me, every time I look at them, it makes me feel good. So I use for sight a photo of my kids. So for hearing, I used a jazz CD. I love jazz. You might love a, diff a different type of music. So this is a reminder that when you're stressed out, you can just reach into your comfort box, and if you want to listen to something, you can listen to your favorite music. So that's my cue, but you can use anything you want. So the next one we're gonna do is touch. So I have a teddy bear. So I love teddy bears. They're all snuggly and warm, you know, when you want um, something to be close to you. So you can use anything you want for touch for your comfort box, but I chose my teddy bear, okay? And so the next thing is smell. So some people might want to put their favorite perfume or they might want to spray their favorite perfume on a piece of paper so you can smell it. That's easy to do. I have in here, I have a wax warmer at home. So kids, don't do this without your parents. I have a wax warmer. So mom and dad, you may want to do that. And so for me, the smell of a wax warmer helps soothe me and calm me whenever I have a stressful day. So I like wax warmers, so that's my smell. And so for taste, you're probably wondering, you might not wanna put everything in your taste in your comfort box. So you may wanna use a photo of something that you would like to eat for comfort. So I love peppermint. So in my comfort box, I put a piece of peppermint. So these are just small tips that you can put in your comfort box. And again, I just got this little box at the dollar store on clearance for like two bucks on the clearance rack. So, or you can use your old shoe box because remember I have a shoe box as well. So in my comfort box for taste, again, I have peppermint. For smell, I have my wax warmer. For touch, I have my teddy bear. And for hearing, I have my jazz CD. And for sight, I have a photo of my kids. Now you could have a photo of your friends from school or your favorite teacher or maybe your grandma. Whatever you want to put in your comfort box, you can do that. So that's the first thing that we're gonna learn about. Just trying to stay balanced during COVID-19. It's kind of hard for all of us. So we're all using all of our coping skills to get through this time. So don't feel bad about it. So again, in your comfort box, you can have, and I, I'm getting used to this, so bear with me, guys. There we go. All right, there we go. So, in your comfort box, you have your five senses. You have sight, you have hearing, you have touch, you have smell, and you have taste. 
So remember to put all of those things in your comfort box. And remember, you can use your old shoe box. You can use an old perfume box or anything. Even if you got a box in the mail and you still have it, you could decorate it and cut off the sides or decorate the top. And you can make it into your own personal shoe box. So I, I have a lot of kids and parents that use that as a craft day and they will kind of like buy paint from the dollar store or something like that because they sell acrylic paint. You can do this with your parents. And you can paint your box and you can personalize it and put your name on the side. You can put stickers on it. You know, anything that you want to do because it's your comfort box. So there's another thing that we want to try and it is the breathing exercise. And for those of you who don't know what that looks like, for parents, I have a different one for you, but for the kids, this is for you. So you can grab any kind of cloth. This is a scarf. I usually, you know, in the winter time, I'll use it around my neck. Um, sometimes I like to tie them around my hair, right? But it's just an old scarf that I use. So for kids, you can use any kind of cloth. You can use a handkerchief. But what the goal is for the breathing exercise is for you to blow it. So like if on those days where you're really tense, you just hold up your cloth, right? Take a deep breath in and blow. Sounds silly, but guess what? It works. It's just like the wind, right? Just like a gentle breeze. So for kids, this is a way for you to kind of get into breathing exercises. And I'll tie my scarf here so that we can practice that again at the end of the video. But you can use the scarf to kind of practice your breathing because the more you do it, the more your lungs will kind of build up. Now for parents, I have something different for you. So what you want to do is you want to just close your eyes and try to take your breath from the tip of your toes to the top of your head. And I'm going to do it with you, so I'll be silent for a moment, okay? So we're going to take a deep breath in from the tip of our toes. to the top of our head and we're gonna hold it for a moment and then we're gonna release it. All the way back into the ground, right? So that's for our parents. So what we do is we take a deep breath in from our toes and take it to the crown of our head. and hold and release. And you're gonna release it back into the ground, okay? Or into the floor, depending on where you are. So for kids, remember, we have two different activities for this week. We have the scarf that you can practice. Oh, I did better that time. Blowing, right? to relieve stress or build up tension. For parents, we're gonna take a breath in from our toes to the crown of our head, right? And parents, if you wanna try the scarf activity with your kids, it's a really fun way to do things. And remember, our comfort box has what? All of our five senses, sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. Well, guys, I hope that this was helpful for you, and I hope that you join us on next week. And on next week, I'm going to be showing you some yoga moves. So you'll, I'll be with you for the month of July, and that's very special for me because my birthday is in the month of July. So thanks again to the Boys and Girls Club, and thank you for watching. Bye.